Hi guys, it's Mandy here. So I wanted to talk to you guys in this video about Galadriel and her motivations in this TV show. Now, I haven't seen the show, but from what I know of the show, what her character motivations are, revenge. So Galadriel's brother is killed in a battle and she then becomes consumed by anger and this desire for revenge for her brother. And first of all, I'd like to point out that that is a major problem for one very simple reason. Anger and the desire for revenge are usually the main motivating factors of a villain. Now, I don't know if any of you guys in the audience have seen the TV series Once Upon a Time. That TV series basically, it's, it tells a story about a girl who goes to a town and she discovers a whole load of characters in this town happen to be characters from fairy tales. And of course it contains most of the villains from pretty much all the Disney films that you can imagine. And so uh, in that TV show, pretty much uh, every villain's motivation is revenge. They all want revenge on someone for some reason or other. And they are so consumed by this desire for revenge, it causes absolute chaos. Some of them die, some of them are reconverted to the light, if you will. And uh, but the thing is, revenge is a key motivating factor for a villain, guys. This is the thing. This is the reason why Galadriel's character in this TV series is so unlikable because you're not meant to like someone for wanting revenge. If she is so consumed with a desire for revenge that she is actually showing disdain and anger and frustration at everyone she meets, of course she's not going to be likable. And people are saying that she even fails at being a Mary Sue in this because of the fact that all she does is show characteristics that girls wouldn't like to have. You gotta remember, what is a Mary Sue? A Mary Sue is a character that girls wish they could be. That's a Mary Sue, somebody who everybody just fawns over. But Galadriel is not a Mary Sue because of the fact that everyone she talks to, she talks to with disdain and anger, save for her brother who of course is the only mentor in her life apparently. Where are her parents? You want to talk about someone being a good mentor. Why is it her brother? Why is it not her mother? Why is it not her father? Yeah, you want to talk about women empowerment? Where is her mother? If you were going to be saying, this is a story about women being strong and women helping women, then where is Galadria's mother? Why is she not Galadria's motivating factor? she not someone that she looks up to? Why is it her brother that she looks up to? Oh, it's because in the original story, her brother gets killed. So we had to have something to give her a motivation. Like I said, revenge is not a good motivating factor. Um, I'm just going to give a bit of a spoiler here, guys. So if anyone hasn't seen Once Upon a Time and you don't want to know anything about it, you might want to skip ahead a bit. In Once Upon a Time, the main villain is the queen from Snow White, the, the evil queen from Snow White. And her main source of anger was because Snow White did something to her when she was very young that caused her extreme pain. And she lost someone she deeply loved. And as a result of that, she deeply hates Snow White. Deeply, deeply hates her and wants to take revenge on her and wants her to suffer as much as she did. Now, that is a good motivating factor if you have good characterization, which is what that show actually delves into. It delves into the reasons why these villains are villains and it shows you who they actually are. It goes into their backstories and shows you who they are as a person, which is why we love to hate them. We love them for being villains because their motivations are understandable and relatable. Someone who we don't know anything about is not a relatable character. We don't know 
anything about Galadriel's backstory other than she had a brother, he died, and she's very upset about it. That's all we know about her as a character. What was she like before he died? What was her family dynamic like? Who were her parents? What were her other two brothers like? What did her other brothers contribute to her relationship with her other brother? Was she close to her other brothers? We need to know these things in order to be able to like Galadriel. In order to be able to relate to her. If we do not have anything to relate to her with, we are not going to care about her. Therefore, her motivations come off as empty. And she just comes off as a really badly written villain who is just angry at everyone. She doesn't even seem to show any fondness for Elrond, who is a relation of hers. He's related to her through her husband. Galadriel's supposed to have a husband. Elrond, if I have my family chart correctly, Elrond is married to Galadriel's husband's sister, I believe. I think that's right, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But if that is right, then her not even having a husband means that Elrond did not get married to his sister, which means that Arwen does not exist, therefore. Therefore, Aragorn does not have a love interest in Lord of the Rings. Therefore, he has no son. Therefore, the whole timeline of Lord of the Rings is completely messed up because one tiny character, you might think he's tiny in the space of the scope of the entire story of Middle Earth, but one character not being in existence in this story changes the entire history of Lord of the Rings. Think about that. If one character gets erased from this timeline, the entire history of Lord of the Rings disappears because a whole load of different timelines can suddenly appear. Because, I mean, imagine if they got rid of Gollum. If Gollum didn't exist, right, that means that Deagle would have the ring. Deagle would be Gollum, which means that for all we know, Bilbo would never have found the ring because Deagle may have ended up in a completely different location at the time and therefore Bilbo would have never found the ring, therefore Bilbo would have been killed and therefore the dwarves would have failed in their quest and then Smaug might still be alive. God only knows what would have happened. The orcs would have found Deagle, probably, tortured him, murdered him, gotten the ring back, boom, Sauron still exists. And then a whole different story happens. Now, if Amazon had taken the story and gone in that direction and just said, what if it hadn't been Smeagol? What if it had been Deagle who kept the ring? What if Deagle had killed Smeagol and it had put, what would have happened down that timeline? That might have been an interesting concept and we would have had a completely different Lord of the Rings story with an actual ring in it still. We would have still had a, had a story with the one ring. The question is, what would have happened? Would Sauron have succeeded in taking over Middle-earth? What would the battles have been like? What would have happened between him and Saruman, you know? What would have happened to the wizards? What would have happened to all these characters that we knew about? Galadriel herself would have been involved in this. Sorry, I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but the thing is, my point here is character motivations are extremely important to the timeline of your story. If you have a bad character motivation because the characters themselves have, have been badly written due to their timelines not being respected or even explored, you will have a boring character or a character with the wrong motivations and therefore the wrong characterizations and therefore the audience will not like them when they are supposed to be liked. So, this is my point. If you want to write a good character, whether they be a villain or a good person, explain their history. Explain their motivations in deep detail. 
because otherwise we, the audience, will not understand why we are supposed to either root for them or sympathize with them or hate them or fear them or whatever. These are the reasons why we need to have character backstory. And Galadria doesn't have a backstory. That is my problem with this series. So I'm sorry if I ranted on a bit much. I'm going to stop now, but that's my point for today. So I will uh, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a nice day. Please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone who's subscribed over the past few months. You've done amazingly well at helping me get my channel going. So thank you so much for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.